Hello, in this video um, we're going to learn how to use PyShark in order to interpret .pcap files um, and in doing in learning that we'll, um, we will uh, learn how to uh, we'll, we'll create a, a bar chart with um, which will tell us the frequency of um, the the type of protocol protocols in our network. So, um, first thing we need to do is create a PCAP file. Now, as you can see, I've got two here, but um, we will create one. Um, I'm going to use a Wireshark network, network analyzer uh, to do that, um, but uh, you can use T-Shark uh, or you can use oh right okay sorry my uh, my internet's not on there let me just connect that there uh, there we go um, so anyway um, yeah so um, we are going to do that we're going to use Wireshark um, now you could use T Shark uh, T Shark is the terminal version of uh, Wireshark or i.e. it's the version of Wireshark where there's no graphical user interface. Um, which is also what um, the library PyShark is going to use. Now PyShark is a wrapper for uh, T-Shark and it allows uh, Python to be able to interpret packet files and also capture packet files as well. Um, but in this video we're just going to focus on reading them from a file already made. So anyway, so we've got about uh, 1200 packets I think that's enough for our data so we'll hit uh, we'll, we'll save this we'll save as and we will um, you need to save your packet file uh, in the directory where your script is I mean you could you can obviously denote it with file paths but uh, for this tutorial I'm just going to save it in the directory and this uh, by default, Wireshark will uh, want you to save it as a PCAP NG file, but we're going to use uh, a PCAP file. And as you can see now, my two sample data has have appeared. Uh, we're going to save it as sample free. You can save it whatever you want, uh, whatever name you want. Um, but anyway, that's fine. Uh, and there we go. You can see in the PyCharm we've got sample free there. So, anyway. Okay, so now that we've captured our um, data, uh, we're going to want to uh, import our libraries that we want to use for our script. So our main library we're going to use is PyShark. So we're going to import PyShark. Um, as, as I said, PyShark uses T-Shark. It's, it's a wrapper. PyShark is a wrapper for T-Shark, so that will be useful to use. Uh, we're going to import uh, collections. Now, collections is useful in this situation because it contains a, a useful little uh, object called, a class called uh, um, counter. And counter is going to do the, ma the, the maths for us uh, today. So it will be counting the number of occurrences of uh, the packets, uh, pa packets protocol. Um, we're going to be importing uh, matplotlib uh, because we're going to be making a graph and we're going to do pyplot as plt and then we're going to import numpy as np. Now numpy is going to be used to sort our uh, keys essentially um, in our graph. So anyway, so now that we've got our four libraries that we're going to be using, uh, first things first, we're going to need to read in our PCAP file. So it's quite simple. All we have to do is make a variable. So I'm going to say cap. And we're going to say um, pyshark. Now, as you can see, um, there's a lot of uh, things we can do here. We've got file capture, live capture, and memory capture, etc. Um, I would um, for this tutorial we're going to be reading from a file, so we're going to be doing file capture. Uh, but as you saw there, you have live capture option available as well if you'd like to capture packets um, using your script. 
directly there. But uh, we're going to be reading from a file in this tutorial. And the first thing we're going to do is put in our um, file name. So sample free dot pcap. Now don't forget the, the extension name. Uh, it's new required. And then we're also going to put on only uh, summaries. Why are we putting uh, only summaries to true? Well, uh, PyShark gives you a lot of data back about uh, packets, and that's pretty good. But um, for simplicity sake, I'm only going to uh, put. I'm only going to uh, really care about uh, the most basic data about the packet. Now, uh, I will show you what that uh, what only summaries does in a second. There, uh, let me just uh, continue on here. The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a protocol list and we're going to make an empty list there and then we're going to say for packet in cap uh, we're going uh, to say print um, packet okay this will give you an opportunity to see what we're reading in here so let's run it and uh, let's see so there we go, that was quick. There's our packet file read in. And as you can see, we've got uh, the, I the ID, uh, the, and then a lot of addresses and things, um, and then the protocol, and then a lot of more info. And I think that uh, the only summary sort of mirrors what you see initially here. Uh, in the Wireshark itself, there you go. You've got your number, your timestamp, your source and destination. And if you click into it, if you click into a packet, then um, you'll see all this data here. And you can go obviously go into these, and that would be um, displayed if um, you had only summaries turned off. But since we only care about the packet, the the, the protocol. Um, we're only going to use we only we only really need only summaries turned on um, and for this basic uh, video we're only going to use that um, okay and um, another interesting thing is if we print the type of uh, packet uh, you can see that it is of type uh, packet summary pie shark packet summary so that means we can unfortunately not do dot split to split our data out it's not iterable you can't do um, you can't access separate elements it'd be easy to just access the protocol from that but unfortunately since it's a packet summary uh, we don't have the method to do that so instead what we're going to do is um, define a variable we're going to say line equals um, str packet and we're going to convert that uh, string output that you saw previously into a string variable here and then uh, we're going to format that string so we're going to say formatted line equals uh, line dot split uh, and then an empty space so uh, yeah so this formatted line is actually going to be a list of the, the different uh, columns as you can see will be have so uh, element 1, element 2, element 3, element 4, element 5, element 6, element 7 uh, okay so that's um, what will be returned it's going to be a list so formatted line is going to be a list there but because it's a list, it's now iterable. So, um, uh, let me uh, show you again. If we print um, packet, I'll sh it'll show us our, our output there that we got from the from the thing from PyShark. Uh, so zero. In fact, it'd be better actually to uh, print out the the array. I mean the line, other uh, the list even. So give me a second there. There we go. So that's better now. Well, it's now iterable. So uh, you've got your ID and then timestamp and then the rest of the data. So the protocol is the fifth element. One, two, three, four, five. But of course, uh, indexes start at zero. So it'll be zero, one, two, three, four. So we're going to access it. Uh, 
from uh, position four. Uh, so we'll delete that print statement because we don't need it. And then we're going to say protocol list, protocol list, um, dot append. So we're going to add this this empty list. And we're going to say um, formatted line and then element element four will access access the element in position four, uh, which would be this one. I know it's the fifth element, it's the, it's the fourth. It's the four, we're, we're accessing it there. Um, okay, so now we've got our, our protocols. So what will that, what will that produce? Well, um, at the end of this for loop, um, if we print protocol list, uh, what we will see is a uh, big old list of all the protocols in the file. Um, which is which is good. That's what we wanted. So, um, what we're going to do now is use um, the counter uh, object from collections to essentially uh, count the occurrences of each of the uh, protocols, uh, and then we'll use that data to plot our graph. So. Uh, I'll delete this line so we don't need it, and then we will um, do counter equals, and then we'll do collections dot counter. Oh, counter with a capital C there. Yes, there we go. I was wondering why I didn't recommend auto complete that, and then we'll do protocol list. There we go. Lovely. So that will. Um, can essentially do do all the counting for us here. So you know it'll, it'll see ARP, the ARP protocol. It'll see it again. So the ARP key will be at two. But then obviously we've got all of this data here. So that's fine. Um, okay. So the next bit uh, is to actually plot the graph. So. Um, Let's do plot dot style. Now you can choose whatever style you like. I quite like. I'm quite partial to plot dot style dot use, and then the style. I quite like um, GG plot. It looks quite clean. Um, it's up to you really what 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 uh, uh, style you want your graph in, um, or for go for go styles entirely. But um, for me, I quite like uh, GG plot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create the bar chart. So we're going to do y underscore position equals mp dot arrange. Okay. And then we're going to do the length of the list uh, counter dot keys. So that's going to ha give us the... Um, the keys, so uh, you know, ARP, DHCP, all that carry on, okay? Uh, so that's fine. And then we're going to do plot.bar uh, and we're going to pass in the Y position. Um, we're going to do a list as well. We're going to pass in a list and that, well, we're going to con convert. Um, the values to a list, yeah. So we're gonna do counter dot values. So that's gonna be the numbers, um, the numbers uh, associated to the keys essentially. Uh, so that's fine. So we'll do that. Lovely. And then, and then after that, we need another parameter in plot dot bar, and we're gonna need the parameter, um, uh, sort of like the alignment and things for your bar chart. Now you can play around with these. I like going for line equals uh, not 0.5 and the alpha value um, to be um, not 0.5. And I'm very silly. I've 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 I've, I've, I've I've done that wrong. No, it should be center. It should be a line center. And center should have uh, speech marks around it. I mean, commas, apostrophes around it. Anyway, so yeah, so a line center. So that means your, your um, 
chart will be at the center and um, alpha not 0.5, not too bright, not too dim. And then we need our color. Now, you don't need colors again. This is just for making it look a bit nice and, and quite nice. So I'm just going to pass in the default um, pa uh, colors that Matplotlib provides. That's going to be, I believe, from memory. I think it's blue, gray, red, cyan. I think it's cyan. I think you can do C. Uh, and let's just put in another one, magenta. Okay, there we go. So uh, that's great. And then we'll do plot dot x ticks uh, y underscore position. So pass that in again. And then we need list counter dot keys. Very good. And then we need to just finally label our um, our graph plot dot dot y label, and since we're gonna have the frequency of the current the, the the frequency of the the protocols, we're gonna label the y axis frequency, and we're gonna label the x axis. Um, protocol name which is good and then we'll do plot dot show and which will show us on screen the the actual um, graph we get so let's run this and see what happens okay uh, numpy has no attribute dot range oh if I mistyped I have I've, I've put it with two R's there sorry everybody only human there we go. Okay, so here's our lovely bar chart. Um, and as you can see, we have a lot of different um, protocols here. Um, and I, uh, we've got DHCP, ARP, TCP, DNS. So you can see, see it all here. Um, and TCP is the most common, uh, the most common um protocol with a with a 500 and about 40 uh, occurrences there uh, with TLS a close second and then I'd imagine DHCP or HTTP is the least common there um, again it's based on the package your computer receives so if you're for example uh, watching a video on YouTube while you record while while you're recording your packets you'll have a lot of UDP come up here but uh, as I wasn't doing that, um, UDP is quite low here, actually. Um, and yeah, so if we just want to save that, I'll show you how you save that. Uh, we'll do, instead of plot.show, we'll do plot.save fig. And then we'll need to pass in the name. So we'll just say uh, protocol graph. Mm, ping. You might not need the file extension, I don't know. There we go, okay, so protocolgraph.png. And as you can see, it's the same thing there. I've just opened it in, uh, oh, I've just opened it in uh, PyCharm there. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you use, um, oh, that's how you use um, uh, PyShark um, to make a protocol graph. Now, if you do want to experiment a bit more with um, PyShark, you can always turn off all the only summaries and then print packet, and that will show you a lot more information than um, than what you've seen here. But uh, since this was only an introduction, um, I've had I've turned that on. But anyway, um, yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoyed, and see you later. Okay, bye.